Hi, welcome to my algebra class and today we are going to learn about algebraic expression. Algebraic expression is like a sentence. A sentence consists of subject and predicate and the linking verb that connects the subject and the predicate. On the other hand, algebraic expression consists of variables, symbols, constants, and the operations that connects them. This is an example of algebraic expression. This is an example of algebraic expression. We have 3x squared y plus 2xy cubed plus 5. This algebraic expression has three terms and it is called a trinomial. So a trinomial is an algebraic expression with three terms. As you can see in this algebraic expression, we have the variable x, the letter y, and the numbers 3, 2, 5. The letters x and y are called the variables and they represent some numbers and they are called variables because their values may vary. The numbers 3, 2, and 5 are called constants because in any algebraic expression, their meanings and interpretations and values will never change. And these algebraic expressions has three terms, and as we said, it's called trinomial. Each term is connected by the operation addition. But there are also other operations that we have in this algebraic expression. Between 3, x squared, and y, we have the operation multiplication. And 2 is called an exponent of x, which indicates that x is multiplied by itself two times. Similarly, in the second term, we, between 2 x and y cubed, we have the operation multiplication. And the exponent 3 also indicates that y is multiplied by itself three times. The last term has no variable or letter. So the last term is called a constant term. Algebra is said to be the generalized arithmetic. Before algebra, we study arithmetic. And in arithmetic, we studied only numbers and operations that combine numbers. In algebra, we study numbers, operations, and variables. Now, going back to algebraic expression, we have different types of algebraic expressions. And the simplest of these types of algebraic expressions is called monomial. These are examples of monomials. Number one, the root of a b cube is a monomial. Number two, the negative of 5 m n is a monomial. And number three, 7 t to the power 3 u squared is a monomial. These algebraic expressions are called monomials because they consist of only one term. So, a monomial is an algebraic expression that consists of only one term. But in this monomial, we have the operation multiplication. Here, we have the operation multiplication. And in number three, we also have the operation multiplication. The exponents three and two, they also indicate the operation multiplication. These are algebraic expressions with one term and they are called monomial. Again, monomial is an algebraic expression with one term. An algebraic expression with two terms is called binomial. And these are examples of binomials. The prefix by means two. And number one is a binomial. We have x times the root of y plus 5 
this algebraic expression has two terms. The first term is x times the root of y. The second term is phi, which is a constant term because it has no variable. And these two terms are combined by the operation addition. This algebraic expression is a binomial. Number two, we have 3 h squared minus 2g. This algebraic expression is a binomial because it has two terms. The first term is 3 h squared. The second term is the negative of 2g. Number three is a binomial because it has two terms. The first term is 1 half of a and the second term is the negative of 6b squared. These algebraic expressions are called binomials. So far we have discussed two types of algebraic expressions. The simplest type with only one term is called monomial. Monomial is an algebraic expression with only one term. The second type of algebraic expression is called binomial. A binomial is an algebraic expression that consists of two terms. An algebraic expression that consists of three terms is called trinomial. The prefix tri means three. These are examples of algebraic expressions with three terms. Number one, this algebraic expression is a trinomial because it has three terms. We have negative a plus 2b plus the root of c. The first term is the negative of a. The second term is 2b. And the third and last term is the root of c. This algebraic expression with one, two, three terms is called trinomial. The second algebraic expression is also a trinomial. We have 5m minus 6n plus 7p. This algebraic expression is a trinomial because it consists of three terms. The first term is 5m. The second term is the negative of 6n. And the last term is 7p. This algebraic expression is called a trinomial. Number 3, we have b over a minus 7ab plus 1. This algebraic expression is called a trinomial because it has three terms. The first term is b over a. The second term is the negative of 7ab. And the last term, 1, is a constant term. This algebraic expression is called a trinomial. To recap, an algebraic expression is an expression that consists of numbers that are constants, letters that are called variables, and the operations that combine these constants and variables. And we have so far discussed three types of algebraic expressions. We have the monomial. A monomial is an algebraic expression with only one term. An example is negative 6CD. An algebraic expression with only one term. An algebraic expression with two terms is called binomial negative 6cb plus 3b squared is a binomial because this algebraic expression has two terms. So if we add one term to this monomial, negative 6cb, we get a binomial. And if we add another term to this binomial, we will get a trinomial. A trinomial is an algebraic expression with three terms. We have negative 6cd plus 3b squared plus 2bcd is a trinomial because this algebraic expression has three terms.
Now, can we have an algebraic expression with more than three terms? And the answer is yes. If you ask if we can have an algebraic expression with many, many terms, the answer is yes. These algebraic expressions with more than three terms are called polynomials. Polynomial is an algebraic expression with more than three terms. The prefix poly means many. This is an example of a polynomial, an algebraic expression with many terms. In this algebraic expression, we have one, two, three, four, five terms. This algebraic expression with five terms is called a polynomial. The first term is 3x. The second term is negative 5xy. The third term is 2x squared y. The fourth term is y cubed or y to the power 3. And the last term, the fifth term, is 7. 7 is a constant term. This algebraic expression with five terms is called a polynomial. Now, any constant or any algebraic expression can be written as a polynomial. Example, the constant 5. All the 5 is a constant, it is a monomial. And 5 can be written as a polynomial if you add terms to 5. But if you add terms to 5, you make sure that the coefficient of the term is 0. So 5 can be written as the polynomial 5 plus 0x plus 0x squared plus 0x cubed plus 0x to the 4. So 5 now is a constant, but it is a polynomial because we have written 5 as an algebraic expression with five terms. But if you simplify the right-hand side, it only simplifies to the constant 5. That's our introduction for algebra with algebraic expression. Our next lesson will be operations on algebraic expressions and we are going to start with addition of algebraic expressions. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Art Kalison, and learn more about mathematics, including analytic geometry, plane trigonometry, solid geometry, plane geometry, differential calculus, integral calculus, and differential equations. If you have questions about the lessons, please don't forget to write your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. I hope you learned something from this tutorial video. Thank you.